Hi everyone, Joe Wardia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from the QCells Energy Storage System Laboratory in Santa Clara, California. And this afternoon, I'm joined by Kingsley Chen, Senior Product Manager at QCells, and we're going to be looking at the process of testing and evaluating the energy storage platform. So Kingsley, it's really good to talk to you. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for being here, Joe. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I always appreciate having these invitations to kind of get a behind the scenes look at some of the engineering and some of the, the testing that goes into developing these battery products. So can you tell us a little bit, I guess, for those that may not be as familiar with the space, what is the purpose of this facility and what type of equipment are we testing here? Great, yeah. So it's a brand new facility. We just opened it in June and we're still kind of building it out. Uh, but the exciting part that we're doing here is we're able to set up all these different energy storage systems that we're developing and launching and uh, really run it through all the different tests that we can throw at it. You know, different grid faults, different um, software updates that we want to try before that hits the customer. So um, what we're standing in front of here is an, what's in the industry known as an automated test equipment. And this is a chroma um, power supply and a um, grid simulator. So here on the, on the bottom side, you have DC sources. So that simulates your PV strings and we can vary different string sizes and simulate you know, different irradiance levels, for example. Um, and then uh, the heart of the machine here is, is the AC grid simulator. So with this piece of equipment, we can actually simulate um, different you know, fluctuations in the voltage line, different uh, line errors that you could see coming from the utility, and then see how the equipment behaves to that to really make sure that it's following all the UL protocol as well as the standard programming that we expect it to follow. Very cool. So, so basically, if I'm understanding this correctly, you can simulate dirty power, blackouts, brownouts, voltage spikes, and any kind of thing that the equipment might see in real world operation, exactly. this can simulate sending that to the inverter and the battery equipment. Exactly, exactly. Especially even where we're hoping to get down the road a little bit further with generator testing. So we can simulate, like you said, some dirty power and see how the equipment behaves to that. Great, great. You know, and of course that, that's so important because it's one thing to, to have ideal laboratory conditions. And a lot of times we, we're talking about solar panel testing, right? A lot of times it's ideal laboratory conditions. The reality of it is a lot of times this equipment is most needed when the grid is unreliable, when the conditions are, are, are unstable, right? And sort of pushing the, pushing the equipment to its functional limits and making sure that it holds up as it's expected. Yeah. So Kingsley, do you mind just giving me kind of a high level description? What are the different test modules here and what's the, what's the purpose of each? What function does it play in the, in the scenarios that you're running here? Yeah, sure. So this test rack is a com completely um, independent um, rack where you've got all the DC supplies on the bottom. So here we have um, basically DC sources that you can simulate the, the IV curve. So you can do a broad spectrum of voltage and currents and you can ramp at different rates uh, three independent channels, as I mentioned before. Um, and then what we have here is, is the, the AC simulator. So again, um, this one's set up for three phase, but we can just turn two phases on um, for, you know, for split phase you know, residential applications. And then we have two different power meters here for measuring the DC and the AC power. So these kind of independently audit the output that we're getting from the DC supplies and uh, the input that the grid simulator is getting. So the complete you know, test rack put together, it, it forms the entire test automated system. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Now, is there is there some kind of a, a scoring that the equipment has to pass in order to be sort of certified for use or to roll out to production? What, what does that process look like of qualifying, let's say, a new a new battery version? Oh, okay, so we're, we're not setting this lab up as a test lab necessarily. We're setting it up as a form of a validation lab Okay. So we wouldn't do like UL certification testing, though we could do that. We're not, we're not licensed for that. That's not really the scope of what the lab is for. Uh, this lab is really just to verify and validate, you know, what has already been listed, what's already been programmed, and, and just make sure that before we roll out those product launches or those updates, that it's actually going to work in the field. Great. Well, I know how important that is. As somebody who used to be an installer, one of the things that used to really frustrate us is when, when, when a manufacturer would push a firmware update without informing us ahead of time. Yeah, testing it themselves. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we, we become the test lab then, and if there's some kind of an incompatibility. But I know one of the things that we're, we're, we're talking about this week, of course, is the fact that 
we're, we're having a more of a convergence, more of a consolidation under one brand, having everything on one platform, one software, one manufacturer, as opposed to, you know, in, in the earlier days, you would have an inverter from one company, a battery from a different company, a transfer switch from a different company, and then getting all those things to work well together was a challenge in many cases. So I, I think having everything integrated, fully integrated here at the lab, testing those things here at the lab, is going to leave for much better installer or much better installer and, and homeowner experience. Yeah, exactly. We want you as as the you know, as a homeowner, as the installer, you know, to have that one-stop experience where everything just works seamlessly together. Great. Well, folks, this has been a quick behind-the-scenes look at the energy storage solution lab here at QCells in uh, Santa Clara. Uh, again, K Kingsley Chan, thank you for taking time and giving us a tour here. And uh, we look forward to learning more about all the products that QCells is developing here. Uh, but folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.